everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to work in uh, Mariola Budak um, set of art yet again. I bet you're bored of seeing it now. But I still am quite enjoying uh, her pages and we're going to use pan pastels. I'm going to hopefully use pan pastels for everything in the picture. Everything and then possibly go over pencil. I'd say if it needs it, but I think it probably will because I'm not the best at pan pastels just yet. So I've got everything out already. I've got my skin set here. And we're just gonna jump straight into it. I've got this separate sponge here. I was watching one of uh, Dee Dee's streams and she uses a sponge to actually mix the colors. So I'm gonna attempt to do that today. Uh, whether it works or not is a different thing. <laughs> So I don't think I'm going to be able to tell you each colour as I go on because I'm going to have to lift the pan up each time. Uh, but I will put the colours in the description of everything that I've used. I'll also link where I got these from um, and how much I paid etc. So I'm just going to go in all over with one base colour. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about like going over the lips or the eyelashes because I will probably use an eraser on the lips and I'm going to go over the eyelashes with a fine tip liner um, closer towards the end once we've nearly finished. So I'm just going to try and lay down just a layer, a thin layer, just to get us started. You can hear pitter patters, uh, that's my dogs. Ice and a bite, I don't like uh, making them go in the beds just because I'm filming. And she's just jumped up on the sofa. So yeah, how is everyone? I was going to stream this morning, but I thought I've not done a, a proper, you know, a proper video video in a little while. So I thought it was best to do this. Plus, I'm not confident, really confident with pan pastels, you know, over live stream if something, uh, if it had a big whoopsie. I'd be very embarrassed over our live stream. So we'll stick to just filming videos with pan pastels, I think, for a little while until I've practiced a little bit more. The only thing is that I do need to get a bigger tray I don't like the fact that these are all singles and you're having to unscrew them, you know, the lids every single time. You want to use them, that's slightly putting my, me off. But apart from that, I'm really enjoying them. So that looks quite even. We'll go down the neck. Like I said, don't worry too much about going out the lines because we'll erase what we need to. Still feel like I'm coming down with a cold, which is great. <laughs> I think it's the time of the year, isn't it? Right, so we'll start the shading now. This is what I absolutely love about pan pastels. They're so quick. Right. So I was debating whether to go in with more of a ready brown or the really dark one. What do we think? I think I think I'm gonna go with this one. I know that one is burnt sienna. I do use that one quite a bit. So I'm gonna go in with a smaller applicator now. These are actually the, the tools that you are meant to use with it. I've got them all dotted. Um, the only thing is I don't know how you clean them. Is it literally just soap and water? I'm assuming it is. But some of them let me just find, is it in this one? They're actually frayed a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's on that one. I don't know whether it's me being a little bit heavy handed, but it's actually started fraying. So I don't think there's any way of me actually saving that now, now that I've damaged it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading or contouring where it can naturally be on the face. I have got a colourless blender, 
which helps out massively. See, I might have put a little bit too much brown there, but we can always go in and lighten it, it's fine. So I hope you enjoyed my little haul video. I actually missed uh, two items out of that haul. I was kicking myself afterwards. I, actually, after I'd uploaded it, I remembered I'd got the Karen Dash uh, luminance, the first luminance that I've bought. I got that in white. Um, I think I need to practice with it. I'm finding it quite uh, scratching, difficult. So I definitely need to practice with that. And I got... Which one was it? Tenderful Enchantment, uh, Enchantment by Clara Markova. Um, that popped up on Amazon. I couldn't. I couldn't believe it because I know that they've uh, they've took all the boots off Amazon for sale. Uh, so when that popped up, I think it was twenty one pound. I couldn't click buy now quick enough because I was worried that somebody else was gonna beat me to it. So I've been checking daily actually to see if any of the other ones would uh, show the pretty faces but they've not yet I just really don't like the idea of um, the postage being nearly as much as the actual book um, it's a bit silly really so yeah that's the, the only reason that I've held off buying the other I think there's two or is it three boots that I'm missing I've got the new one Fairy Celebrations and the Tenderful Enchantment. I think it, is it two or three? I can't quite remember. And I got possibly the best, let me show you the name of it, the best acrylic, black acrylic paint, um, for backgrounds and details that I've ever used. I, I really do recommend it. Americana. So I've got this big bottle off Amazon that's gonna last me probably a lifetime to be honest. I used it on two backgrounds last night and it's the mattest and matte uh, acrylic paint that I've come across. It's better than the Arteza and some of the cheaper brands that I was using that I was just buying from the range. So yeah, that's going to be my uh, top pick for black backgrounds now. Um, I might even delve into a couple more colours maybe, we'll see. Right, I'm going to blend this now. I'm going to go in with a colourless blender. Make sure I've got enough pigment. I don't know if you could see that. And we'll just start blending. They're just so beautiful to use these. I just find them really, really relaxing. You know. I just need to get that other tray sorted. And then I can have them all laid out either side. It'll be so much easier. There we go. They're just beautiful, these images, though. I really do enjoy adding a bit of colour to them. So we went to um, Event City yesterday. The Kids Up North event was on, so we took my daughter to there. And we actually tried her in a walker and she took a couple of steps, which we're over the moon about. Um, she's definitely not ready for walking yet. She can barely stand. She stands for a couple of seconds before falling. But that was um, a big achievement that yesterday. And she actually let a woman uh, put face paint on her. So that was another big achievement. She was super cute, like flowers. Flowers and glitter all down the side of her face. So, and all this one is red oxide. I'm going to add a teeny weeny little bit of that. Just in these areas. Just like that. I think I've picked out the desk that I want as well for my birthday. It's uh, a corner desk. It's not necessarily an L-shaped desk. It's definitely not big enough to be considered as one of them. Um, but it's got... It is sort of an L shape, but it's a really small L shape. And it's got storage on the left hand side that I'll be able to pop on my books. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to next weekend, hopefully, of going picking that up. Getting my husband to build it. I might even film him doing a little bit of the building and me decorating the table. I think that'd be quite good. I'm gonna add just the tiniest amount. 
side of the nose and under the brow and the same on this side and a little bit under the lip and under the nose and let's go in and blend that again so I'm just going to go in with the colourless blender again I'll hold it more like a pen this time to try and be a little bit more precise she's definitely going to look uh, sun kissed isn't she So I want to thank everyone as well. I've reached 300 um, subscribers, which I'm really proud. I'm really proud that uh, I managed to do that and I can't believe that 300 people would want to listen to me jabber on about doing my art. So thank you very much for subscribing. That's leaking a tiny bit patchy there, so I'm going to wipe off, gently wipe off. This is what I've learned. I'm quite heavy handed. Gently wipe it off and add some more colourless blender. That's better. I might even add a little bit of a lighter shade. I might even go in with white. I've not used white yet. Let's blend all these areas. It was super cold here yesterday as well, but really, really bitter. The wind doesn't seem too bad today. It's a little bit milder. But yeah, yesterday it was definitely, you could. Winter is definitely here, as Ned Stark was there. I miss Game of Thrones as well, I do. Yep, so I'm definitely going to have to go in with the rubber in these areas. I need to get the electric eraser, that would make my life a little bit easier because I'm using this, this tiny Tombow one at the minute. I don't know if you've got that, but it didn't come with any extras. So I had to order the extras separate and only two came with it. Which I think is a bit ridiculous because you can imagine how much um, I use them with doing this sort of thing. Right, I'm undecided now. What shade is this? I'm going to have to check because I don't want it to be a grey. You know, it's raw umber tint, so I'm definitely not using that. Let's go in with a white. Trying to add a little bit of highlight. Let's go in with a bigger sponge. Right, highlight, top of the cheekbones. Just a little bit. I suppose you could use this as a blender as well. It just lighten your colours a little bit. And the centre of the forehead. Let's just bring a little bit in there. Let's wipe that off. I always try to remember to wipe them off as I'm going. So I don't forget. I did actually open this one earlier on and the one at the very bottom, another white colour, um, had broke again. So I don't know if I'd put it down too hard. I don't know. So I'm going to have to go in with some rubbing alcohol and fix that. But it was everywhere, everywhere, all over the desk. So I'm so glad that I have used my old mat. I think I want to add a little bit of pink to the cheeks so i've got two different pinks the actual pink that come with this skin set which is the red red iron oxide tint and then one that i've got for my pastel set which is permanent red tint i think i'm going to mix both of these together and we'll see so i don't want to mix them up let's put them back in the right places and again i will go in with the sponge the first one in the skin set is definitely more of a peachy shade and that's more of a, a true pink. So let's add a little bit of that to the cheeks. And on the other side. Yeah, I like that a little bit more you see though it's sort of effortless it's so easy to blend each colour together so fun uh, so I'm going to put that one away I've got this pastel yellow colour because I want to use that uh, is, it, is it meant to be corn that in a hair oh gosh this is what I hate about them and even though now it's not proper, properly shut, 
I always get told off of my husband not to put in the lid things on properly and I went out and bought probably the worst product for putting lids on things. Right, what do we think we need? No. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the first shade that we started off with and lighten a little bit up and just blend more. Try not to have any harsh lines. Sometimes when I do the bottom of the lip, it just makes the, the lady look a bit a bit dirty. So I'm, I'm really trying my best not to have that happen again. Right, I think we're going to start on the her now. I don't know whether to go in with two colours. Hmm. I think we're going to try... This shade, as you can tell, I've not planned this whatsoever. So I've got raw umber here. Um, or I think I'm going to go for this one actually, Burnt Sienna shade. So that's literally Burnt Sienna with um, a touch of black mixed into it. And let's go in into the hair. I'm going to try and leave a little bit of um, highlight. Where Mariel has already let us know where it actually is. With it being grayscale, it is slightly easier. When I go quiet, I'm concentrating. I've gone a little bit on the skin there. Blend that out. I think I've not used these as much because I'm sort of scared of breaking them because I know that they're so fragile. But I do need to use them more and I will, I promise. I think more people need to use pan pastels. So much fun. I managed to get hold of the Colour in Heaven annual, the 2020 annual. To be fair, I had quite a few of the images already that was in it. Um, but I wanted it nonetheless because there was a few a few pictures that I didn't have by a certain artist. So I was working on that last night. I was actually working on the very first, first page. Just done an acrylic background. <laughs> it's turned out quite nice actually. So that's a bit of her at the back there. I am going to go in with a darker shade of Pan Pastel as well. I got Isabel's school picture back as well. This morning, her nursery picture. See what I mean? It's actually breaking already. There's actually little bits coming off it and that's not me being heavy handed. Uh, I'm being super careful. Yeah, so this picture, she just looks like she's uh, angry and apparently she didn't like the photographer. So that explains the angry face. Right, most of these are the plants, so we're moving on to this side. I might even try and go in with a tiny tool now. See if that is any easier. Possibly. So what is everybody else working on at the moment? I think I've got two other pages on the go as well as starting this one today. Um, I don't like having too many. It sort of stresses me out seeing all the tags in the bookshelf. It's looking all right. Bring that down. That's a bit 
here. I think I definitely am going to have to go in with a little bit of pencil just to add a little bit of definition here and, and the... This is her. That's her. See, some of the areas are quite confusing actually. But we're getting there, I think. We're getting there. Does anybody know as well of a website um, that gives you the information of the new books that are being published, like when they'll be available and by which artist, etc. I've tried looking myself, but no luck. I've not found found any information. I really appreciate it if someone could uh, send that to me. Probably on uh, Instagram would be better because you can do private messages on there. So there's only a little bit left now. go right I'm gonna go in with this slightly darker shade yeah them two colors go together quite nice actually I'm not going to add too much, I don't think. I don't want it to be too dark. Whoops, I've gone on the face a little bit there again. I'm just going to go over and erase. I'm not quite sure what to do with the background. What do we think? don't really fancy going in with uh, acrylic paint because there's so many little bits and bobs and even just single brush um, pen strokes, pencil strokes so if I went in with acrylic I'm maybe covering that up. I might even just leave it as it is, don't mess around with it too much. So it's going to be dark here, above the ear. In from the plants, it's a bit here. I, ha I have got a lovely image, um, and it's printed on torn tan paper, one that she actually sent with the uh, set of art for free. That I want to start very soon. Dee Dee did it on the live stream and it has turned out beautiful with pink hair. So that has inspired me to want to do that image soon. Right, I'm going to have to put the dark shade down soon because I've got the too much gene. I had too much in Spilet. Let's clean this off. I think I'm happy with the skin on that actually. So, skin palette, I'm gonna cover it up and put it over here so it's safe. And the colors that I've picked out for the rest of these shades. So I'm gonna go in with this one. It's like a light um, pastel yellow color. I'm going to use a clean one. We'll do all of these. I haven't got a shade, I don't think, that I could go over 
to shade these so I am going to have to use pencil but let's just get the base down first see how quick it is if you're umming and airing about pan pastels I promise you just try them you'll love them Right, so we've got three here. I know that you can get, um, it's actually this applicator, but it's more of a longer brush. I think that would be a little bit easier to use than one of these. You might have to look into that. Last one. Oh, is that her? I've missed a bit of her. I'm gonna have to get the skin palette back out. I told you, I always end up missing a little bit. So if I don't get this done now, I'll end up colouring it with pencil, it might look slightly different. Let me just go in with that same applicator. And just add a little bit of colour here. Just like so. And the darker shade. Just there. Right. Try again. Just cleaning that off. Back in with this applicator. So I think I've finished with the yellow there. Just double checking. I don't think I can see any more areas, so that can go back over there. And let's go in with the red shade. This is the first time that I've used this red, I'm pretty sure. So let's just see. I want it very, very vibrant. Yeah, it's beautiful. Be careful around the leaves. You can actually get away, I think, putting a little bit of this on the lips. Oh, I've got on a leaf that... Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I think you'll get away with putting a little bit of this on the lips. Just a little bit of colour. Actually, we'll try that now with just the leftover. If I don't like it, it's fine. I can erase it. Right, there's a little bit of red there. I'm not going to go over the little buds. I'm going to just colour them in with colour pencil because I don't think I'll be able to get into the tiny areas with this applicator. Oh, I love that colour. I love that colour. It's such a, it's a really Christmas red, isn't it? Just try and be a little bit more careful around the face. Right, there's another bud there. I think it just looks like there's just buds left. Yep, so I'm not going to mess with them. I will just use colour pencil. 
but I'm in love with that shade. It's really beautiful. So we're now in with the green, which I think again, so I'm a bit annoyed about that. Why does it fray so much? Can you see? Hmm, strange. So I'm not too sure what applicator to use. I think I'm just gonna go in again. This has already got a bit green on it. Wipe that off. Let's just see. I'm not 100% sure about this colour yet. I'm just gonna pop it down and see what I think. Mm. Yeah, let's just go with that one. Let's just go with it. Like I said, I'm going to leave the buds uh, clear and I'm not going to put any colour on them because we'll go in with colour pencil later. Definitely going to have to do a big clean up. I think I'll probably use my really tiny eraser and then my black eraser for some areas. What I'll do for this bit now, I'll fast forward the rest of me doing the whole of the green, I think. Because I'm going to have to really concentrate and be quiet. Right, let's just clean that off. I've just spotted an area that I'm really not happy with. Let's put the lid on this. I've still got a little bit of pigment left on this one. So I'm just gonna slightly just go over some of these light areas and slightly blend them. I, didn't, I want to highlight, but I don't want it to be really, really white paper showing. So just a little bit, just take, you know, it looks a bit start white. Right, that needs to be dark as well. 
I'm forever missing bits. Right. So where was it? There it was. Right, that's fine. So I'm gonna erase a little bit now, I think. And then we'll go in with the hairspray, set it, completely let it dry, and then start with the pencils. I don't know whether to use Prismas or Polys. Mm. I might use my Prismas, because I've been using my Polys quite a bit recently. Um, trying to practice with them. So right, my erasers. over some of these lines yeah I think it will be easy once I get the um, the electric eraser It'll be a lot quicker anyway I know I'm not going to be able to get every single line out because I'll miss bits like I always do try and get as much as I can I know you can use a kneaded eraser uh, so you don't get bits on your page but I don't know how much I would be able to control a kneaded eraser so I'll just have to stick with the bits for now around here Let's erase some of this on the eye. That looks better already. Um, the eyebrows. I'm actually going to leave them as they are and we'll go over them with pencil. I think, let me just get all these bits off. I think I'm going to hairspray that and we will start off with the pencil work. So I have decided I'm going to go in with my Prismas. It's all dry now so we can start the pencil work. Uh, for the rest of this video I think I'm just going to fast forward it. So I hope you enjoy the music and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, but it'll just be a speed colour now, I think, just, just to get it done a bit quicker.